Now, if you're a subscriber, current subscriber, welcome back and thank you again for tuning in today. Now, uh, if you are someone that is tuning in for the first time, my name is Troy Bassini. I am the owner and head of research of Life Buyers Agency. So we are a regional Queensland buyers agent specialist and we service the central Queensland and north Queensland property markets under these two brands here. So up in uh, north Queensland, we've got Tropical Life Service in Cairns, Townsville and the broader region there, and then we've got Capricorn Life servicing the central Queensland basin uh, from Rockhampton to Bundaberg and everywhere in between there as well, Glaston and Mackay included. And what we do is we generally help a lot of investors and geographically challenge uh, buyers navigate these markets. We're on the ground, we provide buyers advocacy services, purchase, negotiation, acquisition and pre and post settlement support for anyone looking at potentially buying in any of these locations. We've done more than $250 million worth of transactions in these regions. 70% of our purchases are off market. And I, I like to say as a result of buying off market, a lot of our properties are also bought in isolation of competition and under market value as well. So if you feel as though you are an investor that might need potential professional help getting into these markets, feel free to reach out to us on those websites below or give us a call on that number and we can connect you up with myself or one of my team members for a chat around how we might be able to potentially get you into the market and buy you a cracking investment. All right, Rockhampton. Now let's take a, a look at Rockhampton. So yeah, Rockhampton has been a really popular investment hotspot uh, for the last 12 months. Uh, some of the suburbs have done double digit growth uh, over that time period as well. Markets like Frenchville, Norman Gardens, the range have all done double digit growth last year and have been very popular for investors and home buyers. Uh, a lot of people are still asking me about Rockhampton at the moment. We get a lot of inquiries each month about investors uh, wanting to buy in Rockhampton and we buy a lot of properties still in Rockhampton right now as well. So let's take a look at Rockhampton. Uh, if you are looking to buy in Rockhampton right now or it's on your radar, then uh, yeah, let's hope that this gives you some insight now also. So we can see here that the median house price currently is uh, $494,000. And look, overall, guys, that's uh, still quite, I think, an affordable uh, median house price, particularly when you start to compare that to places like Gladstone down the road, which is a little bit more expensive. Bundaberg uh, uh, as well, you know, a little bit more expensive and then Cairns, uh, more expensive. So Rockhampton is sort of still uh, relatively affordable. And one of the great things about Rockhampton is that it doesn't have the same volatility as markets like Glaston. So despite Glaston being a, a, having a much more high median house price, Rockhampton has a way better track record. So a lot of investors actually prefer to invest in Rockhampton as opposed to, to Glaston because they've always seen uh, Rockhampton has more of an old track that just keeps churning and keeps working, whereas uh, places like Gladstone and Mackay have historically had quite an up and down track record. So that's what's what's made Rockhampton really good. So its median house prices are knocking anyone's socks off, but its median house price trend over a long period of time has been very, very good. So we can see here that year to date, its median house price has grown by 13%. So Rocky's done double digit growth already this year, and it's grown from uh, 437 percent to 494 percent so a total of fifty seven thousand dollars in growth so look guys yeah Rockhampton is still very much surging along by the looks of things even though it's had a quite a good run last year and even the year before as well it still appears to be a market on the rise and when you look at it that you know four sub five hundred thousand dollar price point is still very affordable and a lot of people uh, that are investing in home buyers are all sort of still operating in this market because it sits well and truly under that 550 median still then. So I think that's in itself putting a lot of upward pressure on this house price going forward. And I think what's also dragging up this median house price now is a lot of the more expensive suburbs properties are really starting to push up there. So the range, Norman Gardens, Frenchville, like a lot of those well-located good brick houses or Good brick and weatherboard homes are pushing up into the 600s now. So I think that in itself is dragging up the median house price um, overall. Uh, from an investment point of view, yeah, I, I think the, the more blue chip suburbs in Rockhampton, it's very hard to find good deals there now under 
550. I think you have to spend more than 550 now to get into more of the, the blue chip suburbs. But I think it's starting to really open up opportunities in some of these bridesmaid suburbs that neighbour the more blue chip areas of Rockhampton. So I think there's opportunity in places like Coongal where it intersects with Frenchville. I think that there's opportunity in markets like Park Avenue where it intersects with Norman Gardens. And I think there's opportunity around markets like uh, Kiwana as well. I think it could be a great up and coming suburb uh, as well, plenty of room for growth. And then West Rockhampton, uh, on the south side where it intersects with the range. So I think there's still a lot of good buy opportunity in certain suburbs in Rockhampton. So if you are looking at investing in Rockhampton, put some of those suburbs on your shortlist because that's where we're smashing right now as well. And yeah, as you can see, all of this point in time data around supply and demand looks strong as well. So days on market currently sitting at 29 days. And it's actually dropped slightly um, from January. So the days on market has contracted a little bit uh, over that period, but it looks like it's maintained that trend over the last 12 months. So 29 days, guys, that's very red hot. So trying to buy anything in Rockhampton right now, most things are going under contract within the first couple of days. So if you are investing for the first time in somewhere like Rockhampton, you've got to be pretty fast with your offers and you've got to be on the ball when things come to market and try and jag those as soon as possible. And in markets like this, it's generally the best offer gets the... Uh, gets the deal done. So you have to really be aware of some of the price trends because what I notice a lot of the agents uh, are doing in Rockhampton now is, uh, I wouldn't call it, I would call it under quoting. Uh, so you just have to be mindful of what the price trends are to ensure that when you go to put in your offer, you're on, on the ball there with, with, with the price point that the property would sell for based on the price trends that are happening in the marketplace. For example, uh, I put an offer in on, a uh, property last week in Rockhampton, and it was for offers over 499, and I put an offer in for 570, so it was 70 thousand dollars over the price guide because that's why I knew the property would sell uh, around that price point. But even there, I was unsuccessful. So there's other people bidding in the marketplace that are paying much more. So you could be easily tricked into you know, probably going on the market for offers over 499 and pay, offering 510. That's not going to work, guys. So you just really need to be considerate of those price trends. Look at those comparable sales and really benchmark, you know, where you believe the value sits and the price point sits because there is a lot of underquoting happening in the marketplace here, unfortunately, in Rockhampton. So we can see here our stock levels are very, very tight as well, 0.2% and inventory sitting at two weeks. So the stock levels and inventory levels are a lot tighter here in Rockhampton than it is in Gladstone and Bundy as well. So stock levels, day on market, very tight. So demand high, supply very, very low. We can see here listings have fell as well from January um, at 119 to now 96 in September. So there's been like a total of 30 or so less opportunities for purchase now this time around. So listing volumes is going down and demand is remaining strong, obviously that's gonna put that upward pressure on prices. So for me, like from a demand and supply point of view, you can see why that median house price has had double digit growth this year. Um, and at, at 495, four, I think there's still plenty of wiggle room to grow there, guys. Um, in those suburbs I mentioned before, I think they're gonna be the ones that outperform though going forward. Uh, let's have a look at the rental market. Rental market looks like it's surging along also. So year to date rents have increased by 4.8%. Uh, from $435 per week to 456 So rents are rising, and I think the vacancy rate might be attributed to that. So we can see here the vacancy rate currently sitting at 1.3%, and that's down from 1.5% in January. So the vacancy rate um, is, is down as well when compared to these points in time. But I know throughout certain stages of the year, that vacancy rate has definitely fell below 0.3%. Uh, below 0% as well. So that looks to be the overall trend in terms of the vacancy rate in Rockhampton is around that 1% or under, and it's maintained that for quite a long period of time. So with that said, I think the, the year-to-date rent uh, has increased as a result, but also I think it has a lot of steam in it to keep growing as well going forward as that vacancy rate remains rather tight. And again, I don't see a lot of new construction happening in and around Rocky to put up with pressure on that vacancy rate to push it up even further. I don't think that's happening. Um, 
as much. And then when you look at these median rents, I think the rents overall are quite strong in Rocky when compared to places like uh, Townsville. I think Townsville probably has the weakest uh, rents overall when compared to all these other regional hubs. But 450 on average is quite good. I, I purchased the property last month for 485 um, in a suburb called Kungul, and that's renting at 560 per week or something along those lines. So you can still get properties for rent um, as well, you know, much more higher than this average. And I think the yields are sitting generally around that sort of 5.5 to 6%. Uh, for properties in Rocky, which is pretty strong. So yeah, guys, if you are looking to invest in Rocky, like the numbers are very, very juicy here. Really low supply levels, strong demand levels, listings are dropping, uh, rents are rising, vacancy rates are remaining relatively stable as well.